What's up, Squires? My name is Joel, and I'm the Backlog Knight, and welcome back to Hand of Fate. Um, in this part of this Another round. new kind of little experience where we have you guys telling me if you want me to keep going in this series, or if we lay it flat and I experience the rest on my own. So far, this is a pretty cool game. I wonder if I could just open one I don't know yet. A quick glimpse at things to come. Curses. The player loses 5 gold for every fail, and 10 gold for every huge fail or chance card. Three rat man hunting and three angry mob. Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't actually do that. That's too bad. A bold woman, this one. She did not collapse when the Empire did. No, she took up arms. Oh. Organized her people, oh, it and grows like it literally grows. Okay, yeah, we started this uh, she little experiment the one dealing it. and the next time you are and, not uh, prepared to play go get your deck in order. Okay, okay. Mine is waiting. Yes. All right. Um, so yeah, we started that last time interesting little game. I really like it. I don't know how hard it's gonna be. I Get that I'm supposed to upgrade things, but I don't know how hard or how easy it gets To um, use a recommended equipment encounter sure Thank you. What's this? All oh, right, Frostfang. Um, I'm gonna. What is this? Hold on. How do I do this again? Twenty-three. This is twenty-seven. And this is twenty-five. I'm guessing the sword is like slower. Is that what's going on? There's all these that I don't know. Let's just keep them the way they are. I don't know enough about the game to, um... Welcome to the wildcard update for Hand of Fate. This I update as different phases you can select in order to change the way the game plays. Each fate provides different modifiers to play. Okay. So, no upgrades to the adventure. Player moves and attacks faster in combat. Enemies move faster. Uh, stronger counterattacks. That's cool. Let us not have throwing weapons. Okay. Right. That sounds pretty hard. And those are locks, right? I don't have access to them. I need to unlock them, I think. There's a bunch of... Wow, Curse of the Lion Prince. What does that even mean? Low health, but I go up to... Oh my god, it increases every single time I kill an enemy. Okay, let's just go vanilla for now. No, it's not a bad flavor. I like vanilla. Do you guys like vanilla? I like vanilla. Okay, let's go with this. That's fine. Let's go back and choose her and start the game. I wonder if I'll have to update it every now single time. Play for the card. The first of my symbols. Okay. I do like this part. There's a lot of uh, things I freaking love about this game. Um, the presentation. The presentation is stellar. Every single time, like, he does this little magic trick to show where I you're going. Some cards to spice up oh, game. that sounds great. In addition to uh, the pain and game decks, there are now blessings and curses. Choose your steps carefully. Sounds great. Love it already. The helpful priests. Oh, well. Priests, gods, and we are wandering priest who greets you in a friendly manner. I have no trap with any of For a small share of your prisons, I will bless you in the name of the old gods. Half my food? A small share of my provisions. Half my food. Do it. Well, it could be any the of them now. Select oh, the oh, wow! <laughs> Okay, he gives it the language of the... Okay. He speaks in the language of the old religion for several minutes and then gently touches your forehead. It is done. Draw two blessing cards. This card's token is now yours. Critical strike. Blessings will remain Player inflicts triple active, damage against never foes removed. who are stunned. Unless you die, And course. headman's blessing. Any kill began, made using an axe is. grants the player three health. Ooh. Take the token. It, it is sure yours. is. Give me that token. <laughs> Good, good token. The landlocked lubber. Oh, I've done this before, right? There's a token. The door to the landlocked lubber opens with a creak. 
breaking the silence like a thunderclap in a tomb. Welcome, Traveler. Before I can treat you with our hospitality, I must ask you a very important question. Have you seen, heard, or God forbid, smelled a kraken? I've never seen a kraken. Because I know what the fuck a kraken is. I'm so afraid of all those things in the water, and yet I keep researching them like a idiot. Consider yourself lucky. There's no more foul of beasts in the kraken. I am Carlo. Welcome to the landlocked lubber. After giving you some time to enjoy the warmth of some stale bread, Carlo approaches you. I've heard rumors of boats going missing from the small village port of Norwich. No survivors, no witnesses. And Norwich is a port run by bandits, thieves, and smugglers. There's no way to know what is really happening there. Perhaps you could have a look around and find out more. I would go, of course, but I have this place to look after. Carlo just throws to the empty, damp ribbon flea hole that he calls home. <laughs> this card's token is now yours. That's awesome. So now I'm going to get to have the uh, Kraken experience later or something. Or at least the village. Twisted Canyon. A glinting weapon. I get to climb down. I get to climb down. I'm already at seven food. Why did you give him half my food? That's not a good... Oh, my god. This one. This one is at least a success. At least I tracked that one. I think you can figure out which one it is and it's probably not very clever half of you probably know this already if not more but like I think you can at least keep track of which one of the four if you can remember the locations which one is on top and the top you will always be able to follow to where it's going next I think okay what am I getting what am I getting desperate measures that's the awesome holy yes I'd like to equip it it's that kind of awesome you. it does please me it's your Every ride. Step you take consumes food, but you will also heal as you proceed. You found a friendly trader willing to let you ride his wagon. Hitch a ride? What happens if I sh hitch a ride? Embark upon the next leg of your adventure. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Trail, and more confident than I had imagined. That is not what I wanted. Perhaps Indecent arrival. Mark, and we will see your true metal. You are minding your own business this in a game local tavern. Is still only beginning. New rules. New tools, new abilities. We have far to go as Jesus. Yet. Well, I really like the narration happening, and this would not be a problem if I was like streaming or or if I was silent, but since I'm expected to keep talking at the same time as this guy and I don't want to interrupt him, because the voice acting is nice and also because I want to hear what he's saying, and I don't want to interrupt you guys from hearing him, it makes it very difficult. <laughs> Maybe it's just me that has a hard time like bouncing it around, but meh. okay. What was that sound? Anyways, you are minding your own business in the local tavern when suddenly three masked men burst into the doors. Grab a young man from the bar and manhandle him outside. One patron bursts out in protest but is quickly silenced by the sullen stares of all those around him. Leave them be, Garrett. If it is his time, then it must be done. No, I'll follow. You follow the masked man outside. Immediately, you are confronted by a large crowd, all wearing masks. Their leader speaks to you. Whoa there, stranger. I really would prefer that no outsider witness what we're about to what we're about here. I know this may look like a godforsaken thing we do, but you have no idea of our troubles, so I'll ask you not to involve yourself. I'll not ask twice. We have no time for objections. I'm gonna fuck him up, right? The crowd turns and drags away the young man, their torches burning, a mournful light into the distance. Once they, the light has faded from sight, you follow their path into the forest. You catch up with them, and to your surprise, they are gathered around a yawning portal that whirls into militia, with malicious portents. Despite their disguise, it's obvious that none of the hooded figures really should side before them, and many are obviously distraught. The captive is carried to the portal atop the shoulder, the shoulders of six people, as though they were his coffin bearers, and he already dead. The young man's struggles are subdued by bonds of rope. Um, ah, let's do it. You burst from for your hiding place and plead with the assembled crowd not to go through whatever bizarre ritual they are engaged in, but you gain no support. The leader eventually speaks above the crowd. If this man is so adamant that one of our own should not be sent to the underworld, then perhaps he should go himself. You are immediately seized by the crowd and pushed towards the portal. Try as you might, they are too strong for you and you cannot escape. You stumble and fall into the portal. You fall to the ground with only a gentle jolt. What? You find yourself in a forest that bears a most striking resemblance to where you just were. But with two very significant differences, the crowd of mass and lookers are gone, and the sky burns with bright red flames. Out of the sulfur and flame emerge foul hell beasts. Four of hell? What did I do? <laughs> oh no! I have no equipment to protect me. I don't have a. I don't have a shield yet. Time to. Mm, my mace is holy, I guess. 
Okay. Alright. Here we go. Okay, that kind of hell beast. Okay. Come on. Be a Batman. Okay. Okay. We've got this. Nope. Okay. Oh, that was unblockable. Woo! That was close. Okay. They have a lot of health. Die, damn it! Oh god, that was hard. That was very difficult. That was super, super hard. I better get something cool for this. After you destroy the last hell beast, the portal still is back into life. You are lifted off your feet and sucked into the vortex before being deposited back into the leafy forest you were ejected from earlier. The card's token is now yours. He said nothing. He's like, fuck. <laughs> He's so dejected that, that I made it. I have like four food. Rockfall. What is this? This is like the a worst run. Walk to get to Alternating near the coast, you hear a rumble so overhead. Falling rocks force you to take cover. To Attempt to dodge the rocks. I mean, I don't have a choice, right? Okay. Oh my god. <gasps> I don't know. This is going to be hard. This is going to be super hard. I don't know which one. It went to the bottom. Right after I gave this advice of which one's on top. I should have figured out which one's on top at least to dodge it. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> no. I jinxed myself. This is two pain cards. What's pain cards? I lose 10 mics health. Okay. Oh dear. oh, dear. Really? And 15 health. Oh. Just when you thought it's over, you're knocked unconscious. By a large rock striking your unprotected head. A good warrior always wears a helmet, you remember. Hours later, when you awaken to find that some of your supplies are missing. No! No! Ouch. Oh my god! I couldn't buy food if I wanted to now. Let me guess, a shop? Call for a priest. Okay. In a she uh, shitty grove of the beaten trail, you find a traveling merchant looking to trade wandering adventurers. I have two... Okay, you have much to offer me and I have nothing to give you. And I can't steal your wares. And I shouldn't anyway, so I guess this is fine. Let's just approach the shop. Buy a blessing. Buy food. One food for what? For four gold, one food. I can afford nothing of that. Okay, let's just... Yeah, I want to leave the shop. There's nothing for me to gain at the shop. I lost everything and I only had 10 gold what the hell what the hell oh my god I'm so at least I'm healing your provisions are running low can you press on really buddy you you did this to me I, I did this to myself but you did this to me actually did I not really a group of men suddenly attacks the king of dust isn't happy what you killing his men the dealer draws you one monster card okay okay three bandits if I can't take three bandits I deserve to have my run ended <laughs> that's just <laughs> that's just pathetic my sound is really high. Let me see if I can, um... Eh, not this episode, apparently. I'll have to change this in the next one. Okay. Are the spikes bad for me? Seems that I can break it. Okay. Ten? Yeah! Took damage though. Oh wow, that was loud. I'm so sorry. I think the gain got touched on my thing. I'll, I'll speak from here. I'm sorry if I was loud. Among the bodies, you find a scrap of parchment with a rough description of you plus an offer for a reward from the King of Dust. Uh, the dealer draws you one gain card. Oh look, three food. That's actually the best thing I'm I could. Sure you agree. I am grateful for that, and no thanks to you, good sir. Why? Okay, the White Council. Win this and claim my token. Amazing. As dusk settles, you arrive at a small village known as Lesser Dimsgate. The locals are gathered at a shabby-looking inn. Something must be done, shouts a voice, raised in anger. 
They took all our gold and food from the peasant wells. Will nobody stand up to them? I will stand up to them. It's a bad idea. But I'll do it. Why am I so loud? Jesus. Okay. Um, they went that way. Not an hour ago. Usually catch up with a band of ruffians. They seem overly confident and are in no rush. As you approach, the one who seems to be their leader notices you. Hmm. Kill him, he commands, gesturing towards you. He looks like a troublemaker. I look like a troublemaker. Two and two. Four? Okay, so that's just one more brigand than I already had. I'm pretty sure I can take him. Summon the Holy Knight. With the light armor and the mace. And whatever that treasure thing means. Now we begin to raise the stakes. The arena right, itself you still get to hurt. Fight against you. Beware of my oh, okay. Choice. It doesn't hurt them. I wanted to test if it could hurt them, but I guess not. I can't even see the traps. This is crazy. Okay. Uh, okay, good. Took some damage, but really not the end of the world. Whew. Okay, what am I getting? What am I getting for this? You gather the stolen supplies and return them to the villagers, saying these bandits will trouble you no longer. Guard's token is now yours. Well done. As uh, they weren't bandits, they worked with the White Council. It was our tribute. Okay. The Song of the White Minotaur. That doesn't. Uh, a challenge. The Mug and Barrel and Inn is renowned for attracting the most talented bards from all around. You arrive there weary from your adventures, but tonight's entertainment convinces you to settle by the hearth for a while. Hours pass and the crowd starts to thin. The bard begins to move around the room, playing requests for small groups. He serenades a pair of young lovers for a meager sum. Meager? Me yeah, I think it's meager. And is then generously tipped for lending a group of blacksmiths in a uh, raucous chorus of foul language aimed at the folks from the next town over. He approaches you, well, 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 we do have here a most distinguished adventurer. No tawdry tale of insipid chivalry or brash uh, tribalism will do. You, sir, merit a steering ballad of bloodshed, heroisms, and death. The bard sings for you for um, the fable of the white minotaur, a legendary beast who is master of both might and magic. But is he a hero of might and magic? Its power is such that it has failed every adventurer, bounty hunter, or treasure seeker it has ever crossed. At the close of this song, the bard leads in close of you and whispers, The White Minotaur is no myth. I met a man two nights ago who hunts the beast as if he were its long shadow. So it's like um, Ahab, right? From uh, Moby Dick? Um, I'd wager that an adventurer would be interested in tales he told me over, su uh, over supper. All yours for a small donation. But I didn't get it. Oh no, why? It shuffled it twice. That is. I have nothing left though. Okay, well, at least I got a success. That's nice. I like the look of you. Does five gold sound fair? I don't have five gold. I. My apologies, I mistook you for someone with a sense of adventure. Fuck off. I was. Oh god. Again, the stones tumble upon you. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God damn it. Okay. Oh, fuck. No. 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 This is the worst. Then you think it's over, you're knocked unconscious by a large rock striking your unprotected head. Yeah. Oh my god, but my food though. Oh my god, I have Oh, oh don't you don't you dare oh dear me. This is a queen is more lethal Noble in battle and harder to kill than a regular bandit. Her blades violence. are sharp and she's frequently protected by a powerful crossbow. And send the queen to her rightful end. Yet, what have you gained in the process? Oh my god. That is not okay. That is not okay. What the hell? Okay, so two of two of dust and the queen, and she has an automatic crossbow turret sentry thing. That seems fair. All right, let's do this. 
Okay, yeah, that's how it works. Come on, come on. Oh crap, I forgot about the. Okay, it deals five damage. I'm gonna have to wait for it to shoot and then kill something. Shoot at me. Shoot an arrow. Okay, that one's dead. Kill the other one. There we go. No, ma'am. I will not be that guy. Is it supposed to slow down for me? Oh my god! Oh, wait! Oh. Okay. That's right. That's right. That's right. Keep going. And a fourth one? There we go. 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 Bam! Give me the car. Oh, I have to kill. Oh, I could have killed you? Oh, man. I thought you were an installation of sorts. My bad. You're so going down. There we go. Done and done. Oh, my God. Everything against me, huh? Inevitable, I suppose. He's so, so often displeased. those who reap plowshare to sword die by the grim instruments of their industry. Still, she fought well and bravely, which is all I expect from my pawns and players. Hey, it's my turn to speak now. Okay. Uh, Goblet of Grades. Stronger counterattacks. Cool. So increased stun. Your stunning attacks now rendered. Okay. New starting gear. Nice. Bandit strength increase. No. Skeleton strength increase? No. Bandit throwing knives? No. They have throwing knives anyway now. It doesn't even matter if I choose the other thing. You have earned the first of the symbols of my power and passed the first gate. There is no turning back now. Sure there is, if I wanna. Previously I was merciful, but now I cannot be. It is begun. I crafted each of these cards over the course of years you have taken them from me in mere moments. Okay. For dealing with the helpful priest, you receive... I gain 15 health. Healer's ring. And charity. That's cool. That's probably the... There you go. For meeting with Carlos Lang Landlocked Lubber. The Smuggler Dwarf, there you go, which will give me another token to continue. So there's like tiny quests you get to do by completing those things. Oh, I'm still upset about the Bard one though. What about this one? What's this do? Venture into the Underworld. You receive Alicia in Underworld. Alice in Wonderland. Nice. What's this? The Minotaur? How often the people of Lesser Dimsgate you receive the White Council too? That makes sense. What about this one? Our reward for defeating the my bandit queen, you receive discards. Uh, Jack of Plague? Is that a rat? I think it's a rat. I can't see well from here, but I think it's a rat. Asleep in the forest, field of poppies, and battle at Rookdom. And what about this? Is this one for you? As a reward for defeating my bandit queen, you receive these cards. Fleet Cuffs, Armor of Cold, and Huge Hammer. Nice. Come. Play again. I will. I will. In a bit. I'm gonna say now that this has been a 25-minute episode already. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it's been a bit uh, shorter because I was actually arranging a few things. Maybe it hasn't been that long for you. Also, I'm trying out a new things that you might notice uh, with my little display there. But that has been pretty cool. What do you say? So what do you say? Um, is this something that you would like to see? I think I'm gonna go for one more episode that I'll record before... Um, Deciding if I go further or not and uh, leaving on side waiting for any news or comments or messages from you But I really like this game so far. It's really cool. I really like what they do with the presentation. It's super I heard that the second one's even better, but the first one's already really nice I like the presentation the flair the music's kind of cool The voice acting works really well and the fact that you feel like you're really going on an adventure in a Dungeons and Dragons-esque thing Nice. It feels a bit easy for now 
I'm pretty sure I'm gonna regret saying that, even though I was trampled by falling rocks over and over again. Uh, I guess uh, that'll teach me, or not, apparently. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep going for a little bit. How about you guys? You gonna stick around? You guys let me know in the comments below what you thought about this, and if you'd like to see more. Of course, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. That goes hand in hand with any other content that I make. And, um, well, like if you enjoyed it, of course. Um, I'll see you around, of course, uh, following all these little things. And if you did like it, take some time to let me know, just so I can see if this new little approach works with you. This has been Joel the Backlog Knight. Just find a good fight one game at a time. And until the next time comes, Backlog Knight out. Oh, I can't get enough of these floating cards. That is super cool. It must have sucked to animate, though. <laughs>